Good morning, kids. Today we're checking out a brand new video from Connie X about what are the full digit evolution lines of the seven royal, I mean, no, not royal, I mean, holy Digimon. <laughs> Sorry, holy and royal are so close in sound that I mix them up a little bit, but <laughs> we're talking about the seven holy Digimon, i.e. the seven gods of the digital world. So let's hop in and see who is what. Line videos for a few Digimon groups now. And if the Demon Lords were appropriate for Spooktober, well, Easter time might be appropriate for Holy Digimon. And there's not really one major yeah, Holy well. Digimon group. There are the three Archangels comprised of Ophanimon, Seraphimon, and Cherubimon Virtue. And then mm -hmm. there's just kind of overall do gooder groups like the Royal Knights and the Olympos 12, but even they yeah. aren't really like holy necessarily. And sometimes they're kind of not good guys. But Digimon Adventure yeah. 2020, the reboot of Digimon Adventure, go figure, did introduce the Seven Holy Digimon. These have not been acknowledged oh, as an official group by like the Digimon reference book or anything outside of Digimon Adventure 2020 media, but they are a group of oh, seven shit. Holy Digimon and three of them are the three Archangels. So you could definitely consider mm -hmm. these somewhat a counterpart to the Demon Lords. So they're not actually meant to be. Regardless, they yeah, existed in Digimon that. Adventure 2020. So on today's video, let's theorize what their evolution lines might be. Let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. And if you're looking to get yourself some Digimon goods in this 25th anniversary of Digimon Animation, definitely make sure you go check out Baiyi. When you sign up for Baiyi with my link in the description down below, they will give you a 10% off coupon site-wide that you can use to buy anything, not just Digimon stuff. And when you do, it directly supports my channel. You can use Baiyi as a proxy service. That is what they are for. So websites that have restrictions on international shipping, like Yahoo Japan Auctions and Shopping, Macar- Oh, right, this is the ad. Hold on, okay. This video. What is up, digital companions? My name is Khan EX and welcome back to Evolution Lines. And yeah, the seven Ooh, holy Digimon from Digimon up. Adventure 2020. This is a much more straightforward Evolution Lines video, I think. Some of them have already got pretty obvious evolutions. Some of them do, not so much. I have seen it theorized that there's a world where alongside of Fanimon and Seraphimon lining up with Kari and TK's partners, that Valdemon the bird could connect to Sora, Rasielmon mm. the beast could connect to Matt, that there is some kind of connection mm. between the holy Digimon and the Digidestined, but I don't think that's true. We see a sort of flashback of sorts to the Holy Battle and the eight Digimon at that battle were the eight Mega Digivolutions of the partner Digimon, War Greymon, yeah. Metal Garurumon, etc. What I think is most likely is that Seraphimon and Ophanimon, who are members of the seven Holy Digimon in Adventure 2020, were also part of the group of Mega Digimon in the final battle. They were kind of in both groups. It's also, there are though. seven Holy Digimon and eight Digidestined in this season, and we know Lopmon is the D Digivolved form of Cherubimon. So I would say overall, the Holy Digimon oh. Oh, cool. also being the Digidestin partners is very unlikely and as such I won't be using like Abumon or Agumon in these evolution lines. However, I think it's very likely that Patamon and Gatomon in this season are reincarnated similar to Lopmon or I guess Gatomon would be Salomon. Lopmon is a Digimon <laughs> that exists now but used to be one of the Archangels so I think the same is true for Patamon and Gatomon. They have a specific holy connection especially with those. I'm sorry but that picture that keeps showing of those two like hugging or cuddling as they're asleep is really damn cute cute feathers. So I think the Afanimon of this group digivolves from Anjouwomon, then Gatomon, then Salomon. I think it's oh, unlikely it would be a randomly different evolution line just for the sake of not clashing with Kari's partner. And even if it isn't the exact same Digimon, multiple of the same species of Digimon oh, could exist within the same canon anyway. So whether you think that Ophanimon in this group is a separate Digimon to Kari's or not, there can be two Ophanimon and two Anjouwomon and two Gatomon and two Salomon. It doesn't matter. And I just yeah, think it's exactly. the most likely evolution line for an Ophanimon in basically any adventure related set. And likewise, the same is true for Seraphimon. I think its pre-evolution will be Magna Angemon, though it could be the priest mode that we saw briefly in that evolution sequence in Adventure 2020. Whoa, Maybe the maybe. seven holy Digimon version of Seraphimon directly digivolves from priest mode. That could be fun. Then Angemon nice. and Patamon. Again, I don't see any need to arbitrarily switch this up just for the sake of switching it up. And that brings us to the final member of the three Archangels, the actual group of holy Digimon <laughs> outside of Adventure Canon, Cherubimon. We know it was a Lopmon mm -hmm. in 2020. It de-digivolved or de-powered to a Lopmon. Mon, and I'm fairly certain that the line is then Teruimon and Andiramon. Andiramon slash Antilamon is a holy Digimon, a Deva in Tamus continuity, and Teruimon I think is actually confirmed, but also if the options are Teruimon and Wendymon, I, I think it's probably Teruimon, right? Obviously, that brings us into not, our not kind Wendymon. of unknown no, section. What is that? It's the end of Well, Master I don't know what that was, but uh, we'll be right back.
And we're back. Let's go. I think much like an adventure try, Rassiamon is supposed to be a kind of counterpart to Ophanimon in this situation, in the same way that Meikumon is a counterpart to Gatomon in the Tri movies. So Rassiamon digivolving along its normal kind of good line, aka not vicious mode, not Ragglemon, would be Rassiamon from Meikrakmon from Meikumon. The rookie's tough because we technically don't have an official Digimon that is a Meikumon rookie, but there was uh. one planned and indeed an in training too, which is literally just a Meikumon variant of Salomon. To me, I think that would be a natural pick for the rookie for this Digimon, Obviously. meaning there's some symmetry going on here. We have a Salomon and a Maimon, I don't know what this creature would be called, giving some more cohesion and matchups with a line. Their Megas and their whole evolution line would have something in common. Though if you want to use a Digimon that actually exists and not one that was just planned, Lylemon is also a beastly yeah, similarly coloured to the Meikumon line Digimon and is a holy beast. I think that works pretty well, but I'm personally going to stick with the unnamed Meikumon rookie. Valdemon could Digimon Evolve from Hippogriffamon, giving another connection to Digimon Tri, which again I think is very likely that this season would do. And Hippogriffamon is a mythic beast Digimon, looks quite holy Ooh. in my opinion. Obviously, Hippogriffamon digivolved to Zuchaomon in Tri, but I think digivolving to Valdemon is equally as good here. I don't really like the it's rear possible. eyes and Tri choices for Hippogriffamon in this instance, so instead I'm going to pick Darkmon. Would go nicely alongside really? some of our other Angel Digimon, it being a champion, and then maybe having a friend in Anjawomon, the ultimate would work. And then the rookie, again, kind of calling back to Tri although a completely different evolution line, could be Tapirmon. It is a holy Digimon, it has a holy ring, and has been a Darkmon pre-evolution before. Admittedly, apparently Maybe. only in Digimon Championship, but I'll take a win wherever I can get one. <laughs> I am halfway through recording this video and just remember that I didn't turn my background light on, so enjoy that for the three more shots in the video, it'll <laughs> matter. Moving over to Slash Angemon, Shikuamon. Listen, I oh, get it. Slash Angemon has been pushed somewhat as the mega for Shikuamon for Summer Slam, and if you want to use Shikuamon, that's fine. Personally, to me, I think Shikuamon works better as a Clavis Angemon Prevo, though still works good well, yeah, for Slash obviously. Angemon. I understand the reasons why people think it works, I just in this instance have to pick one and it's not going to be Slash Angemon. I think a more cohesive line for Slash Angemon is it digivolving from Nightmon, who is a not necessarily a holy Digimon, but it has the Crest of Hope on it, which is pretty good, given that good it is going to digivolve into an Angemon in this ideal evolution line. Then the common pre-evolution for Nightmon Gladimon, still crazy to me that that's a champion, not a rookie. And then the rookie Same. itself can be Pawn Chessmon White or Kotemon, keeping the knightly and blade aesthetic we're looking for. And you gotta go with Pawn Chessmon White because it's already a knight and not a knight in train. Like Still Kendall feeling White. noble and potentially holy. However, if you did Kendall want a specifically more holy one. rookie Digimon, you could choose Kudamon. Though I might save Kudamon for the next one. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Clavis Angemon is the oh. one I am going to pick Shakuamon for. While I can absolutely see the logic in giving slash Angemon Shakuamon, I think there are more visual lineups with Clavis Angemon. It doesn't have mm -hmm. the X antibody apparently. And they're both Angemon variants at the end of the day, so it's apples and pears, as opposed to apples and oranges, which are very <laughs> different things. I think a pre-evolution that actually works pretty nicely for Shakuamon, if we're not going to go down the, like, Ankylamon route, is Harpymon. It's a light armor, really? so it could definitely just be used as a champion, and it has some of that kind of ancient stonework feel that Shakuamon and kind of Clavis Angemon share. Or Gargoylemon, another light armor, would also work quite nice. And it also would kind of keep up a stone theme because of the real-world gargoyles. And then for the rookie, ah. yeah, Kudamon would work quite well as a Gargoylemon or even Harpymon pre-evolution, evoking the same kind of imagery as Shakuamon and Clavis Angemon. But given we have been going mm. for symmetry here, we've got a symmetry. Salomon and a named Meikumon rookie, the Ophanimon and the Patamon line lining up very nicely to their adventure counterparts, I think it might be nice to use Terriamon here, as Lotmon is the member of these holy Digimon that has the most plot significance, I guess you could say, out of all of them. If one of these sets of evolutions are getting a twin, I feel like Lotmon should get it's twin too. And yeah, I don't hate Terriamon in this line. I think it looks really good. You know, maybe a little bit better as a Gargolemon Prevo than a Harpymon Prevo. Of so course. Kudamon, Terriamon, whichever one you want to go with. I'm personally going with Terriamon, but yeah, Kudamon would be nice too, especially alongside Tapirmon. The Lotmon needs its twin, you know? And that is it. My <laughs> ideas for the evolution lines of the seven holy Digimon. Afanimon, Angewomon, Gatamon, and Salomon. Seraphimon, Magna Angemon, Angemon, and Patamon. Cherubimon, okay. Antilamon, Terumon, and Lopmon. Rasielmon, Maycrackmon, Maycrackmon, Kumon and the unnamed Meikumon Rookie, yep, Valdemon, yep. Hippogriffamon, Darkmon and Tapirmon, Slash Angemon, Nightmon, Gladimon and Pawn Chessmon White, or Kudamon, and Clavis Angemon, Shakuamon, Gargoylemon, and Terriamon. Let me know what you think and of these picks in the comments down below. I think they're pretty good. Be respectful about it. Don't be a dick. Make sure you sign up for today's sponsor, Baia. I would appreciate that very much. Follow me on Twitter. 
Well, that's going to be the end of today's video. Kind of a short one, but hey, that's what this channel is kind of like. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link to the original will be in the description below. And I'll see all you folks next time when we flick on. Peace out.